I'm mixed race. My father is white and my mother is Mexican. And my mother is also of indigenous descent, uh, Wirarica. And uh, when I was in my late 20s, I started doing Aztec dance when I lived in uh, San Francisco at the Mission Cultural Center. Um, and that totally changed my artistic trajectory. Uh, before that time, I didn't really understand what that part of my heritage was really about. And, um, and I found it completely fascinating. And, um, and a large part of the work that I do is devoted to uh, kind of like exploring our, our heritage, uh, in particular like the, um, the spiritual and um, metaphysical uh, heritage that we've been handed down by our ancestors uh, through the, the kind of artwork that I make. A ritual calendar, a tonotowali, only lasts 260 days, which is the nine months. So in this almanac, each square is a day, and there's 260 days, which account for the nine months. Mm -hmm. So, you know, in terms of it being a cycle, it begins on this end with the sign one alligator. Then this is two wind, three house, four lizard, five snake, and it goes on and on all the way to the end. And then it comes back to this one, it goes all the way to the end. And then you read it all the way to the other end, to here, which is the sign 13 flower, and then it returns to the sign one. I'm originally from Riverside, uh, so you know, like an hour from LA, and I grew, and I was born in LA. I'm from the LA area, and uh, uh, I very much identify with my Chicano roots. I'm very proud of my Latino heritage, and uh, it's very exciting for me to be able to bring my work back to LA because that's where I'm from. And uh, I feel like as a Chicano living in Mexico, I'm constantly misunderstood. <laughs> Well, also looking the way I look, it doesn't help, but like, uh, like, you know, I'll explain to somebody the whole story of my artwork and like who I am and like how I came to do what I do. And almost two thirds of the time they'll respond, oh, that's so nice when foreigners make artwork about our culture. And I'll be like, I'm not a foreigner. <laughs> or like, I know I'm from the US, but it's like, this is my heritage. And uh, I feel like when I engage with Chicanos and people like Latinos living in the US, it's like, you know, it's like we see more eye to eye, and it's something that I feel like we're coming from the same cultural background. And it's exciting for me to be able to bring my work to a context which is not only where I'm from, but also speaks to the same like background in terms of like cultural heritage, in terms of like, you know, ex existing in the world. Take this heritage and make it uh, visually uh, as profound and as deep as what it was always was, uh, but which it wasn't allowed to be represented that way for so long. And, um, and, uh, and I find it very, very beautiful and moving to be able to, to show it in, in my hometown.